Utica, Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. If we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Tom Glasgow, could you lead us, sir? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Madam Clerk, would you call roll, please? Sakura. Here. Terenzi. Here. O'Donnell. Here. Deanne. Here. Ryan. Here. Robinson. Here. Mayor Caldrino. Here. All present, and we have a quorum. Um, at this time in the meeting, we open up the floor for anyone from the public that would like to speak to council for uh, any item on the agenda, and you will be allowed three minutes to speak. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak tonight? All right, next on the agenda is consent business. Uh, there is one, uh, a typo that we need to amend uh, under Roman numeral 2B. The minutes are incorrectly listed for 913, which is in the future. So it hasn't happened yet. It should read 813, 2024. So I'd be looking for a motion to approve consent business with the aforementioned amendment. So moved. Support. Motion by Dion, support by Sakura. Any discussion from council? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Dion? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, everyone. Uh, there's no unfinished business or correspondence, so we will go into new business department reports. Uh, I'll kick things off. I'd like to thank Parks and Rec for a very successful Trash to Treasure event at Grant Park over the weekend. Uh, it was a brand new event. Uh, it seemed to be pretty popular. When I came by, I saw a lot of uh, attendees, a lot of interesting things. I even bought myself a little something. We don't have to mention what it is. <laughs> Are you embarrassed about your purchase, Mr. Mayor? It's a, a side flask, which I guess oh, okay. ages me. Oh, uh, and the comment I got was, why don't you just use your water bottle? But yeah, I don't know. Not in high school? <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you to Parks and Rec. Great event. Uh, you guys did a great job. Uh, Friday was the last uh, event for Weekend Unwind for 2024. It was a great season. A lot of people attended. Great bands. I'd like to thank everyone that did attend and all the bands that were involved. And I'd also like to thank Host Utica for sponsoring the event. It was a, a really great season. I'm already uh, starting to schedule next year. So excellent, excellent time. Every Friday night at Memorial Park from 7 till 10 p.m. We look forward to uh, a, another successful year next year. And last, I would just like to announce we have our uh, Nightmare in Auburn event coming on October 5th, Saturday from noon until 8 p.m., this year we've tweaked things a little bit to make it even more successful. Uh, last year, we it was our first year, we really had no idea uh, what the attendance was gonna be and it was we were pleasantly surprised. We think we had about 4,000 people throughout the day, so we're expecting even more this year. Uh, we've got a major sponsor with the help of Connect Macomb. We've got some really excellent bands. Uh, we have a band uh, called Creepy Clyde. He's Really neat. I think uh, adults and kids alike are going to enjoy what he does. Uh, we have a local band called the Dads, and then a legendary band in the Detroit music scene called the 3D Invisibles are the headliner, and they'll be playing from 7 till 8 p.m. There is a Facebook event post, so if anybody needs more information, uh, feel free to go look there. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of posts coming up about it, uh, but that's Saturday, October 5th from noon until 8 p.m. And that's all I have is, uh, does anyone else on council have anything they'd like to, uh, Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. So just to, to piggyback on that weekend, uh, October 4th, homecoming parade, downtown Utica, our chieftains will be celebrating the homecoming. I know that I'll be wearing orange and black as all good chieftains will. Linda, will you be there as a chieftain? Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, Councilman, will you be there? I, I'm sure I will be there. Okay. Yeah, so uh, four o'clock starts the parade downtown Utica, feel free to come out and visit our fine establishments and celebrate Utica's homecoming game. Excellent. And if there's not a lot of wind, uh, we hope to have Chief, our mascot Utica puppy, 
right out in front of uh, City Hall. So uh, fun times for all. Thank you, Councilman Vianna. Uh, I have something, too. I just wanted to thank Fire and Police for coming to Apple Fest this weekend. It was a successful Apple Fest, but it's really heartwarming when you see the police and fire out visible where we can see them. And, you know, people milling about. It, it's a good feeling. So thank you so much for your presence there. We appreciate it. Thank you, Councilwoman Terenzi. Anyone else from Council? All right. Tonight we have nothing from planning, assessing, or building. Ms. Francis, a report on library. That nothing, nothing to report. No. Chief Wilsack. Report from fire. Yeah, Mayor and Council, before you, um, we received a FEMA grant, uh, EMW 2023, FG 06581. Um, with this award, we're going to replace all of our hose and attack lines. Um, nothing's been replaced since I've been here, and it was old when I got here. I think they're like from the 80s. Um, we, they pass inspections, but we're running kind of under the gun with that, you know, if we had a failure. So we got this money to replace everything, so everything will be new. And uh, with that being said, uh, the award is for $71,371.42 from FEMA with the city's match of $3,568.58 for a grand total of $79,940. The Utica Fire Department, like I said, will replace 20 to 30-year-old tack lines and nozzles. Um, I guess I need a motion to accept the FEMA grant EMW 2023 FG 06581 and authorize Brian Rolowski to accept the award on behalf of the city. Um, this affects two accounts. The equipment account is well, let's one. Get, let's, get, uh, okay. let's get that motion first. Aye, so moved. Support. Motion by Ryan, support by Terenzi. Any discussion from council? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Is it 749? Because I thought he said 79.9. Yeah, he, he said 79. It's Correct. Okay. Don't have my classes. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Sorry. Any further discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura? Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. Your next item, Chief. Okay, the second motion is to amend F-2025 general fund budget, transferring $71,370 from the revenue account 101-336-505-108 to revenue account 101-336-505-108-F-06581 and transferring $74,940 from expenditure account 101 Three three six nine eight one one zero eight to expenditure account one zero one three three six nine eight one one zero eight F zero six five eight one. So moved. Support. support. Motion by Ryan. Support by Terenzi. Any discussion from council? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi. Yes. O'Donnell. Yes. Deanne. Yes. Ryan. Yes. Robinson. Yes. Mayor Calandrino. Yes. Motion carries. And your final item. The final item is. Uh, we're, gonna, we, we're going out to attain bids and to purchase this, and I would like to be authorized to spend that amount with uh, the mayor's approval. I'll show them so the moved. best bill. Support. Motion by Robinson. Support by Ryan. Any discussion from council? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi. Yes. O'Donnell. Yes. Deanne. Yes. Ryan. Yes. Robinson. Yes. Mayor Calandrino. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Anything else to report tonight, Chief? Oh, no. Uh, we're, uh, I got two new hires. Hopefully, we can get them background in. in. <laughs> but uh, if anybody's out there and wants to come to the Utica Fire Department and have an EMT or a firefighter certification, come down and see us. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I just wanted to say real quick, I just wanted to thank Brian Olowski for the amount of time and effort he puts into uh, all of these, these grants. Um, they are quite a process of actually putting them together and there's a lot that our department wouldn't have if it wasn't for these um, assistance to firefighter grants. So thank you to Captain Brian Olowski for his time and effort and dedication. Great. Ditto. Chief Gluzny, please report. Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council. The uh, first item I have up for you is our, our dispatch radio tower. Um, this has been a, a uh, elongated project um, coming on about four years, if, if not a little bit more. 
of upgrading our department communication system and ultimately the the radar tower or the radio tower the current tower that's there right now was was donated to the city um, there were best intentions that were in place to try and make it as fiscally responsible unfortunately during the the uh, sign-off process with the state it was deemed that that tower is not uh, safe and will not pass state inspections um, so unfortunately we had to go to plan b which is try and look for another tower uh, this has been an extensive process of trying to deal with getting soil samples dealing with tower manufacturers getting tower quotes and ultimately figuring out the the excavation uh, in putting together this project i've had some money put aside in our uh, liquor or alcohol liquor control fund and that's money that's specifically given to the police department and it needs to go back into the enforcement of any type of alcohol enforcement obviously using radios to communicate to you know get our, our guys out dealing with junk drivers on the road all that kind of stuff fits into the, the bill here uh, this project's kind of a, a three-phase project three different companies that, that I, I have doing the work the first one is the excavation done by JISI solutions uh, based on the soil that's out there they need to do pretty extensive engineering and and design to actually put the base to, to hold the tower the current tower that's there right now is, is realistically sitting on about a six by six slab of concrete the engineering that's needed is, is pretty extensive if you read through the documentation that's in there uh, so I would be looking for a, a motion to kind of fully approve this project the total cost of the project is $112,540.47 in one of my motions, I am going to be asking for the amount that's in my alcohol fund, just to just in case there is any side things that, that come to, to bear. The we're going to attempt to try and use the existing lines that are on the tower. The my tower installer believes that he'll be able to transfer those lines over. But I just like to, to have the funds available if in case we, we do need to purchase some additional lines. So I'd like to start with uh, requesting a <coughs> motion requesting approval to enter into a contract with JISI for excavation and foundation work for a total cost of $58,000. So Some moved. Support. Motion by Terenzi, support by Ryan. Any discussion from council? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura? Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, my second motion would be to request approval to purchase the tower from Allstate Tower for a total cost of $31,000. So, so support. support. Motion by Ryan, support by Robinson. Any discussion from council? Is that part of the total cost you gave us, $112? That is, yes. Okay. This, this is the breaking down between okay. the three vendors. Any further discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura? Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, next motion would be to request approval to enter in a contract with JT Tower Services, LLC, for construction of the tower for a total cost of $24,000. So moved. Support. support. Motion by Ryan, support by Deanne. Any discussion from council? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura? Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. And my final uh, uh, request on, on this uh, agenda item summary is to request a budget amendment to the Police Department fiscal year 25, and that's fund 212, which is our liquor control fund, 212-301-981-00 uh, by $135,000. So moved. Support. Motion by Ryan. Support by Terenzi. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi. Yes. O'Donnell. Yes. Deanne. Yes. Ryan. Yes. Robinson. Yes. Mayor Calandrino. Yes. Motion carries. Hopefully we can put this project to bed finally. It's been, what, five years, I think? Yeah, go, going, going on five years. So yeah. it's, it's, it's been a looking forward to getting that one finished and off the thing. Uh, Mayor and Council, the next agenda item summary I have for you, um, this one at least comes with, comes with some good news. Um, this is the uh, Burn Discretionary Community Project Fund, and this is a grant that we received, and, and this is really due to the hard work of, of the mayor hitting up Senator Gary Peters' office. Uh, this, is, this is money that, that he, uh, he's, he's to, to credit for bringing into the police department. So 
The city received $153,000 from Senator Gary Peters' office, and this grant money comes with a zero match out of the city government. So this is a, a tremendous amount of money that, that we're receiving for the police department. The uh, project scope of this project is, is to purchase a uh, remainder of our, our in-service body cam system along with our in-car system. We're also going to be purchasing the flock camera system, the okay. automatic license plate reader system. I was able to put that into the scope of this project and get it approved by the uh, Department of Justice. Uh, all, the, all the paperwork is in there. Um, regarding the, the bid process for the, the body cams, we have already transitioned into the Axon body cams with the prior grant that we got with the SRT grant. So we can't move to a different provider because we're already kind of into, into the Axon provider with it. So that's why there is no other bids or anything we can get. This is the only manufacturer that we can get. So I'll be looking for a request a motion to have the mayor accept and sign the DOG, DOJ burn grant in the amount of $153,000. So moved. Support. support. Motion by Terenzi, support by Ryan. Any discussion from council? Madam Clerk, roll call vote. Sakura? Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. Good job. And I'd be uh, looking to request a budget amendment to Police Department's fiscal year 25 budget revenue of federal grants. That's 101-301-501-000-PBJA24 by $153,000. So moved. Support. Motion by Sakura. Support by Ryan. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi. Yes. O'Donnell. Yes. Deanne. Yes. Ryan. Yes. Robinson. Yes. Mayor Calandrino. Yes. Motion carries. And the last one is I'd request to amend the PD fiscal year 25 expenditure federal grant. That's 101-301-981-000-PBJA24 by $147,100. So moved. Support. Motion by Sakura, support by Terenzi. Any discussion from council? And Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura? Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. A lot of work. A lot of paperwork there. Thank you. It is, it is a lot of paperwork. Um, I do have one motion that's not on there. Am I able to add that on? Or? Um. I just realized I don't have a motion to actually buy it. Actually buy it. <laughs> oh. That's fine. Yes. That's kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to the police chief to engage with Axon the, uh, and Flock. Axon and Flock. And Flock to uh, authorize them to Flock. engage that the purchase cool. from the uh, described items. Motion by Dion. Support. Support by Ryan. Any discussion from council? Ma'am Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura? Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. All right. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else to report today? Um, yes, just, uh, just an update um, to, to Council and, and the public. Uh, Officer Elizabeth Demink um, approached me, and she was wanting to get a commemorative badge to, to commemorate uh, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month that's coming up in October. So all the members of the department, uh, she designed the badge. It's a very, very cool looking badge with, with black and pink. All the members of the department out of their own pocket purchased these badges. So we will be wearing them starting October 1st oh, to honor uh, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Thank that's you. Fantastic. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Thank her for us. Yeah. Mr. Diamond. All set. All set. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, I have one item on the agenda today, and that is for purchase of a Solo Pro water sewer push camera system. Um, th this camera was uh, budgeted for and approved during our budget talks, and I did request $15,000. Um, I did get the lowest bid from Fredrickson Supply for $12,785. Um, they did come out and do a pr uh, presentation, mini cam, the actual camera people came out and did a presentation with me and a couple of the guys. Great item, it'll definitely be help for uh, the city 
for our water and sewer main uh, and sewer lines. Um, so I'm looking for a motion for council to approve the purchase of Minican Solo <coughs> Solo Pro 60M XL axial push camera system with additional roller skids from Fredrickson Supply for $12,785 from the Water and Sewer Department Equipment Replacement 592-536-981000. So moved. Support. support. Motion by Robinson. Support by Dion. Uh, one question for me. Are there any hidden costs that were that could arise? I mean, is there a cloud service involved with nope, this? No, everything is right on the computer itself, and we move everything with um, hard drive. So the only other cost would be buy some. It does come with some of the flash drives. That's it. We can move it to computers and wherever. Everything is on this unit. And is it warrantied? It is warrantied. I I I apologize, but I don't have the warranty um, year on it. But I can definitely make sure that I get that over to you. But it is warranted. Excellent. Any further discussion? That's pretty good, seeing how almost everything is contingent upon a monthly fee. I know. <laughs> it seems like that's where everything's huh. moving. Any further discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura? Yes. Sharanzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes, motion carries. Thank you very much. Uh, just a couple other things. Um, the bucket truck that was approved uh, last council meeting is being delivered tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, it was scheduled for today, but got pushed back, so we're excited to have that. Um, we're going to pull out the old one, put it next to them. I'll take a picture of the bringing in the <laughs> of bringing in the new and removing the old, and I will send that to the mayor so he can post it. Um, it's a beautiful truck, so it's, it'll be very nice to add to um, our fleet, and I thank you again for that. Uh, the Trash to Treasure um, event went well. I worked with Maria Stella during during the prep and the cleanup. Guys uh, uh, were asked to, you know, do the locations for them, the sites, and everything went well. Cleanup, they did a very good job cleaning up. We just had to remove bags, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Lori, for for helping out too. So that was great. We'll be prepping for Nightmare in Auburn and the homecoming um, for the four. So downtown will be clean. We'll be the, getting that ready. We've got, um, obviously we have Chief and then we also have the pumpkin that has been repaired for uh, Nightmare in Auburn and if needed for the homecoming parade. Unfortunately, I will be not be able to be here that weekend. I'm gonna be in Traverse City, so, but we'll have everything scheduled and the guys will uh, um, be prepared to handle whatever. Uh, the stage will be removed this week. We got a couple small repairs to do to it. It looked like maybe some trip hazards from just the wear and tear. Uh, so that all be taken care of before it's needed for nightmare. Um, I want to thank Lynn Carnes for the gazebo donation at uh, Pioneer Park. If anybody hasn't seen, um, they donated a, a 12 by 9 gazebo that is on the opposite side of the comfort station, split in half through the fence. So both sides, the large breeds and the small breeds get to use it. A little extra added shelter. So um, thank you. I want to thank Lynn for that. And, and that was through her organization, uh, Woman's Life 911. Thank 911. You, thank well. you, Mayor. Yes. Um, we also had a couple uh, trees donated from uh, a business owner, Frank Jamil, who was actually in violation for planting a couple trees on Hall Road. So with the help of Jerry Hicks, um, he offered to donate these to us, uh, two of them. Didn't look like they were going to make it, whoever he had taken them out, but two of them did look pretty good, and we donated, and we uh, planted those in Pioneer Park as well. So we have a couple extra trees in there. Um, coming up, I do have, uh, we do have three furnaces that have failed heat exchangers in the uh, garage and the shop that I'm getting, currently getting quotes on. Uh, not something that I had budgeted for, so I'll have to see how it works. I, I will be back after I get um, that handled. Um, and then our, we, our project's going on. We'll just run through them real quick. Um, the lead service line replacement, we are finishing up, HRC is finishing up our proposal for, to send over to our city attorney to get a look at, uh, to make sure everything T's across, I's are dotted, all that good stuff. Um, Pioneer Park, if you haven't been over there, they did start ex excavation for our um, uh, pavilion, so that's moving smoothly. We haven't had, <coughs> luckily they didn't hit any garbage, so we're good. They, the, the five feet that they were required to go down, we hit uh, clay, solid surface, so um, that should help out in, in with the funds as well. Um, the Van Dyke median and the North Point pavement and the North Point um, sidewalks, we're just waiting on um, corrections to the um, 
uh, L.A. Anthony Construction their insurance. They, they keep sending the insurance, but we need actually the city of Utica to be a um, uh, added on as their insurance. At, you know, they just were doing it. So they have to have, they're sending, they sent a blanket one, but we need each project to have specific, project specific, specific for it. So we're waiting on that. Hopefully that will be taken care of soon. Um, we are working on the um, point inspections. We have just one more page to do, so those are going pretty smoothly. We'll have all our information. I'm, I met with HRC today. We'll have the information needed for Eagle by October 16th. Um, the sewer rehab project is completed. Uh, we have, well, they got to come back for the one repair that happened on the last sewer line <laughs> lining uh, segment behind Hydro, over by Hydroport or in the, the gas station. Um, one of the lines when we um, um, rerouted flow, couldn't take the flow, and, it, and we had one of the lines that broke. So that was repaired. They're going to come back and line it. Um, obviously, that wasn't ordered because it wasn't part of our project, so we're just waiting on the line to be ordered. So if you saw Van Dyke being closed down, you saw the pipes, we were just rerouting flow. So as soon as that is done, we will be done with that. And Davis Street, uh, the, the pump station is, we're, we were waiting on DTE. That, I believe, is all set so that we should see somebody here by at least September, by, but they said September 9th, we're already past that, but they're hoping a finalized date by September 16th. That's it. Any questions for me? <laughs> you had talked about purchasing some trucks, I believe, from Ferndale. Did that go through? Um, I've been waiting on Ferndale. They had four open spots in their treasurer's office that is actually would be doing this. So they're they're trying to, um, they've got a lot of backlog of stuff. So as soon as they can do their paperwork, that's all I'm waiting on. We they are ready to go. Um, he may even ha let us come get them if, if it's going to take longer. So it's been a back and forth, but yeah, we're okay. we're waiting on them. So thank you thank for bringing you. that up. All good news. DPW has been very busy. You guys have done a great it's job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nothing from the treasurer tonight. Madam Clerk, report on city administration. Uh, Mayor and Council, uh, uh, my deputy and I, we are ready to send out ballots when, once we get them. Um, so I would just encourage people to remember that they can uh, register to vote in person up until and on election day. Um, November 5th. So we're excited about that. We're all set. Excellent. Is there a specific day where you have to send the absentees out by? Uh, they just have to be uh, ready for the public by September 27th. Um, but I don't have them yet from the printer. Right, so, right, okay. Yeah. Ms. Schmidt, Parks and Rec Report. So in regard to the Trash to Treasure event, I just want to thank Maria because she is the one who uh, put it all together. And um, between her and, and uh, the, the clerk, they got, you know, all the applications in and, and it was a very good event. So I do want to thank Maria for getting that together. And then as for the nightmare in Auburn, I just want to point out some of the little bit of the timeline for the, tr the trunk or treat um, being like a 12 to 3, and then the, we will be having a Halloween costume contest. So make sure you're there for that at 630. As the mayor said, you know, the, it's all on the Facebook pages. So be sure to check it out. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, nothing from the Historic District Commission or City Attorney tonight. We would, at this point, open the floor for any commu communication from the public for any item, not necessarily on the agenda, any item at all. Uh, you'll be allowed three minutes to address council. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address council? Yeah, you're Mayor Pro Tem. You can make a comment anytime. I just had one <laughs> resident and one non-resident. When you make the turn by Auburn Road, they said, not that they don't want the political signs, there, but they say they are right on top of the street. And I did drive by, but they said it's kind of clouding your vision when you make the turn. So it would be a matter of if they need to be moved back a little bit, that's fine. It, neither person said get rid of them. It just, Which when you make the bend 
over by Ray DeBuck. Uh, yeah. oh, okay. So going to Brad's house. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. That is true. I I drive there, so they don't bother me. I know where I'm uh, what I'm up to, but yeah, I can definitely see them. Mm-hmm. They're big too. They're big. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. There's no one from the public uh, that would like to address council. So at this point, uh, the council is going into closed session. Uh, we'll be leaving council chambers for that and returning. The only business when we return will be to vote on adjourning the meeting. Everyone is welcome to stick around. Uh, if you'd like to hear the gavel one more time tonight. Uh, but that's all we'll be doing when we come back.